We know how to calculate the derivative of e to the x. It just comes out to be e to the x. And if it's a slightly modified function, like e to some other power, say e to the 5x, we know how to calculate that simply using the chain rule. The chain rule says leave the inside function 5x the same. e to the, its derivative is e to the, like we just saw, it's e to the, so here it's e to the 5x. And then you have times it by the derivative of that inside function. The derivative of 5x is just 5. Or you might write this as 5 times e to the 5x. Okay, great. So we're really good at working with e to the x and, and e to some other function. But what if we have some other power to the x? Like what is the derivative of 5 to the x? Or what is the derivative of, of pi to the x? Or, or any other number to the x? How do we find those derivatives? It turns out that once more the chain rule comes in helpful. Let's think about the general case. Let's say we have some number a to the x power and we want to calculate its derivative. Well, we're going to begin by doing a little trick. Remember that e to the is the opposite of the natural logarithm. You cancel e to the x by doing a natural logarithm. So e to the natural log of a to the x will just be a to the x because e cancels the natural log. So the derivative of a to the x is the same as the derivative of e to the natural log of a to the x. But then natural log has a special property. Whenever you have log of something to a power, you can pull that power out front. That x can come out front. And so you get this is just the derivative of e to the x times ln of a. Now I know this light might look a little bit messy, but this is actually quite nice because now it's a derivative of e to just some multiple of x. Like in this example, when we had e to the 5x. And just like how e to the 5x became 5 times e to the 5x, the derivative of e to the natural log of a times x will just come out to be the natural log of a times e to the x times natural log of a. By the chain rule, you um, take the derivative of the outside function, so e to the becomes e to the, you leave it the same, times the derivative of the inside function, the derivative of x times ln of a is just ln of a. But we can further simplify this. Notice this piece right here, x times ln of a as your exponent, e to the x times ln of a, is exactly what we had before. And that just came from a to the x. So this piece here is really just a to the x. So we end up with ln of a times a to the x. That is, it's claiming if you had a function like 5 to the x, its derivative should just be ln of 5 times 5 to the x. Or if you have a function like pi to the x, its derivative should just be ln of pi times pi to the x. Now you might be concerned because you say, wait, 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 what about e to the x? Doesn't this say the derivative of e to the x should have an ln piece? Yeah, it does. It have ln of e times e to the x. But what is the natural log of e? Natural log is log base e, so this is asking e to what power gives you e? Well, it's just 1. ln of e is secretly just 1, so this in fact is e to the x. What if you have something like the derivative of 3 to the secant of x? We're going to need to use the chain rule. The chain rule says recognize there's an inside function here, secant of x, and leave that inside function the same, and first just take the derivative of that outside function. So the outside function, 3 to the, its derivative, by our rule right here, is just going to be ln of 3 times 3 to the, keeping the inside the same, times 3 to the secant of x. But then the chain rule kicks in, times the derivative of secant, 
which is secant of x times tangent of x. Let's look at one more example. What if you have something like the derivative of, say, x to the seventh times 7 to the x? Well, we're going to need to use the product rule. This is a product. So we say, okay, hold the first times the derivative of the second. The derivative of 7 to the x, just like in these examples, is ln of 7 times 7 to the x plus the derivative of the first, x to the 7, is 7x to the 6 times, leave the second the same, 7 to the x. Okay, so we're feeling pretty good, but, but don't confuse the two rules. When you have a power, x to a power, you, you bring down the power and subtract it by 1. When, when you're taking the derivative of a number 2 to the x, you, you leave it the same, just like e to the x, but you add in front ln of that number.